Rapid Weaver 6 is here, and I'd like to spend this video walking you through the new features available in this version of the software. Now, if you are a user of a previous version of Rapid Weaver, then you will find this interface familiar, but still includes some significant upgrades, and I'm going to talk about those here. The Add Page button has changed, and now we have a list of plugins that are available for our use in the project. We can see the list of recently used plugins here. We have the ability to add a folder of resources or add a single resource in this view as well. And then we have our plugins categorized in different ways. We have a view for all plugins that are installed. We have favorites that we can create, and we'll get to that more in a moment. We have collections that we can create as well. And then we can filter by developer. And so if you have a lot of third-party plugins, then it's quick and easy to get to those plugins by developer here. Speaking of add-ons, let's look at the Manage Add-ons area. This is a significant new change to Rapid Weaver 6. We can come to the Manage Add-ons area to explore all of the add-ons that we have installed. We can browse by all, by only plugins, only themes, or only stacks. We can also organize our add-ons. For example, we can go to the Favorites section where I have added a few favorites already. And if I come back to the add-ons area, it's simple to add new items to favorites. You simply select an item that you'd like and drag it onto the favorites area. And then that adds it to the list. We can then filter even further from here by looking at the favorite plugins, themes, and stacks. Rapid Weaver also filters our themes by classic, meaning versions prior to version six, and then the new themes as well. There are five new themes available with Rapid Weaver 6. All five of these are responsive themes that are developed by third-party developers. We also have the ability to add collections. So if you work with multiple projects in Rapid Weaver, you can create collections for every project that you're working on and add any add-ons into that collection. And then those are accessible through different areas of Rapid Weaver. For example, we could go back to the add page area, come down to collections, and we would find our collections here. Alternatively, we could go to the themes browser and we can filter our themes in a number of different ways, including classic themes, new themes, here's our favorites, and here's our collections as well. Not to mention the ability to filter by all of the developers. As mentioned, all five of the new Rapid Weaver 6 themes are responsive, and that gives you the opportunity to take advantage of one of Rapid Weaver 6's greatest features, which is the different preview modes available. We can now preview our website in Rapid Weaver on different device sizes. We start with full width, which is a computer view. We can go all the way down to the narrow iPhone view right here inside of Rapid Weaver's preview mode. So we can look at the iPhone portrait view, the iPad portrait view, the iPad landscape view, and then of course the full width computer view as well. And so this is a powerful way of checking the way that your website lays out on all devices in responsive themes. Now let's take a look at the new site settings area, which is accessible here. This replaces the site setup panel from previous versions of Rapid Weaver. And here we have our general site settings. We also have our advanced settings. And then we have a new section called site wide code. This is a significant update to Rapid Weaver 6, where we can apply meta tags, CSS, JavaScript, prefix information, and head information directly into the site wide code which then applies it to every page of our website. And this is very significant, for example, if you are using CSS on each page of your website. You can now take that CSS and put it into this site-wide code area, having it applied to all of the pages of your website. So for example, if you're using a third-party theme that uses a resource for the header image in your theme, and you need to place CSS into each page, you can simply apply that CSS directly here into the site-wide code and it would import that code into every single page of your project. Of course, we still have the ability to add CSS and other information directly through the page inspector, which has also received a bit of an update, but that header information is still here where we can add meta tags and any kind of code on a page by page basis as well. Coming back to the site settings, we'll take a look now at the new master style area. This is another significant improvement in Rapid Weaver 6 as we can apply all of our styling on a site-wide level using the master style. So we can change and adjust any settings that we'd like to the theme here, and we can have that apply to every page of our website if we wish, simply by going to each page under the styles and selecting the Use Master Style option. 
Now, if you don't want every page of your website to adhere to the master style, then you certainly have the option to deselect that choice, and then you can come through and make adjustments as you would like. But even if you uncheck the use master style option, it at least begins by defaulting to the master styles. And so if you'd like to keep some of those master styles in place while making edits and changes to others, then you have the flexibility to do that. There is one new page type that is included with Rapid Weaver 6, and that is the Markdown page. And so if you are familiar with Markdown, then you can use the Markdown page to enter Markdown straight into the content of the site, and Rapid Weaver will accept that. And if you are not familiar with Markdown and you'd like to learn, then in the page settings, there is a Markdown cheat sheet with a link to a Markdown reference website as well. So you can learn all about Markdown and how to use it in Rapid Weaver. And then finally, there are some behind the scenes updates that are significant. Rapid Weaver now supports multi file upload when publishing, so your websites will publish even faster. It also supports OS X's autosave and versions features, and you can now run Rapid Weaver 6 in full screen using the toggle here. So that is an overview of the new features in Rapid Weaver 6. If you'd like to learn all of the details of Rapid Weaver 6, Rapid Weaver Classroom offers over 50 unique video tutorials walking you through every single detail.